Hello and welcome. So glad that you're here today. This is the Daily Reset for Success Show. And we have a real treat, not only for us, but for you too. And Lady Lou is going to tell us all about it. Now, don't forget, we're here live on YouTube and Facebook almost every day. And we're also on your favorite podcast app, in case you want to take us with you when you're in the car or walking the dog. So just look for us. We're Natural Curiosity. And we've got lots and lots of great information for you about how to reset your life. Because that's what we want to do. We want to keep that in mind that you know, no matter what's going on in our lives, we can wake up the next morning and reset again. Start all over. Fresh start, you know. So, okay, over to you, Lady Lou. Thank you, Marion. Oh, we are so excited. Our friend Julia Laskowski uh, was on a month or so ago. She was the singer and the actress, and she told us about Isabella Munguia. And we said, we've never had a, a youngster on our show, and I don't want to call her a child because she's definitely not a child, but she's a youngster. She's 11, and she's already got her musical and the theatrical career started. So Isabella Mungaya and her mother, Annette Mungaya, Mungia, excuse me. <laughs> Mungia. <That's laughs> Mungia. <laughs> Hello, well, I, ladies. I think it's so interesting to you on today because this is all about finding your child's passion. That's the name of the this particular show. And it's, you know, she could have stopped you, right, Isabella? Your mother could have said, no, I don't want you out there. I don't want you to, you know, share your gifts with the world because I'm afraid, right? She could have stopped you. Mm -hmm. So we thank yeah, you, exactly. Annette, for being the person that you are and sharing your daughter. Aww. Thank you. I'm proud yeah. to do it. Well, you told me, Annette, that uh, Isabella was going through some stuff as a uh, younger youngster, and she didn't find things that was they were not lighting her up. They just weren't her passion. Tell us a little bit about that story, if you would. So she, I started, like, I guess everybody... Um, trying to find something she would like. So we started with ballet at some point. And um, after, you know, as months start go on, going on, she was making excuses not to go. Like I would oh. pick her up from school and she was like, okay, my toe hurts today, I can't go to dinner. <laughs> and then, oh, you know, <laughs> was, yes. yes, I would, I would just not want to go. I know. And I would yes. try to think of any excuse I had, like, um, this hurts. I can't go. As soon as she would get in the car from school, she would start making excuses. Like it was like she thought about it the whole day. What did I say today not to go? Then, then we tried gymnastics, mm -hmm. and and it was kind of scary, right, Bella? Yes, um, but I think since I was younger, I wasn't um, as scared. Um, you know, I would just kind of leap into things a little bit more, but I was still pretty scared of like bars and stuff especially I would get scared of it looks scary you know when you see them on tv and like you know and they're oh uh, don't fall yeah I would be scared too mm -hmm. definitely yeah, so yeah. there's a certain trick yeah that I was really scared of so yeah gymnastics um I wasn't you know it just wasn't so true it was, thing. <laughs> yes it wasn't and so after um after six months, gymnastics was over, <laughs> and we tried Taekwondo, right? And that lasted mm -hmm. two years, but it was like uh, having to drag her, because they would make you sign six-month contracts. Oh, dear. Ooh. And after six months, I would ask her, do you want to continue? But if you continue, you have to commit to six months. Uh -huh. And she would think about it and she would say, well, you know, yeah, let's go. Let's go ahead and do it because she wanted, I wanted her to learn how to defend herself. And it gives you discipline, focus, and it has many things that I think are very, you know, good for, for kids. And I, but mm -hmm. it was dragging her to Taekwondo after a little while. <laughs> and I did like it, but I just got tired of it because it wasn't, it wasn't oh. my thing. So I would just get tired of it. And again, I would start with excuses to not go. 
Now, was this calculated, these excuses? <laughs> or did your, your friends help you come up with the right ones that worked for their parents? No, I probably... <laughs> I probably would just think about it all day and think, mm -hmm. you know what? My head hurts a little bit. I can't go. <laughs> you so, know, I did that with piano. I, I, totally get I do. I didn't want to play piano. Why make me play piano? I don't want to. So oh, I look for yeah. yeah, I got yeah. this. Yeah, now, who yeah. is Alexandro, I think, Mungia? That's my husband. Oh, he just put a little message out there. There he is yeah, again. Hi, so, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> He's watching. That's beautiful. Yes. <laughs> so finally, how did, uh, Isabella, how did you finally decide on what you really loved? Well, um, when I was in second grade, we did a school musical. And um, after that, I kind of liked it and I said, hey, mom, I want to do a musical, but we have second grade and fifth grade musicals at my school. So I said, I won't be able to do it for a very long time. And so my mom got me into a theater camp and that's where I started doing theater and musicals and I started loving it. Oh, you didn't have to drag her in then, did you? Never, it was, <laughs> even on weekends. It was like, she never complained. And then her theater teacher would tell them if you're how is it Bella if you're late if, if you're late you're super late if you're on time you're late no no she she said she said if you're on time you're late so pretty much you have to go early <laughs> so that you're you're ready you're completely ready you're warmed up you have your costume on so it's yeah if you're on time you're late oh that's a good so one she would drag me <laughs> I was the well, one drag, being dragged. No, I yeah. have to get there on time. So, That's right. Yeah. But oh. my thought was she was getting a little shy in oh. front of people. So especially adults sometimes. Oh. So I was like, well, theater is going to help her with that. You know, she's going to feel more secure. And she was going to, I mean, it's going to help her somehow. She's going to learn to speak in public. She's going to learn things that are going to be useful for her in life. So, but I never thought she would stick to it. Your uh -huh. fans in the audience, Isabella, Team Isabella, checking in from Philadelphia. Yeah, Vivian. Yes. Yeah, Vivian. Oh, that's my cousin Vivian. Vivian yes. Oh. And Carolina. So proud of you both. Oh, isn't it sweet? Look at that. Oh, oh that's beautiful. <laughs> nice to have a fan club, isn't it? <laughs> Already. <laughs> So what was your first musical, Isabella? What what was the first time you went, were on stage? That when you were in the well, second you, grade? Well, yes. So that musical was Go Fish. Oh. And then my first musical in an acting class was Cinderella. Oh, Cinderella nice. Theater, so. Were you Cinderella? No. Oh, no. I got okay. ensemble. Um, I did some... I think I was some townspeople. I was a ballroom dancer. So I was kind of just in the background. Well, that's so a good place. you were place. horse, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, I was a horse. Oh. I got, I got some rear drag. end or the front end? <laughs> Both. Oh. I got lucky. I got to wear a unicorn horn, too. Oh, nice. Oh, and yeah. then what was next? After that, um, I did Cinderella again, and I got The King, because oh. um, I like doing musicals twice, that so I kind of get a better role the second time. <laughs> and then I went to Annie, then I did Pinocchio, and oh. twice as well. Yep. Twice? Did Pinocchio now, twice. Were these in school? Um, do you mean... Um, yeah, were they Do school we like, productions or were they someplace else? Oh, they were somewhere else. They were oh. in a acting school. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. So you were already on stage as what third grade, third grade, second, third grade? Second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, second grade. Grade. Well, that's yeah. an early start. Yes. Now um, let's talk to Annette a little bit about the process. As a parent, having a child, as you can see, she lights up about this particular thing. So you could see her dragging around with the, you know, all the other things you tried to get her 
involved in and then all of a sudden it's like oh, mom I'm really excited about this how did that make you feel and how did you support her to where she is now it, it, it was hard because I'm not knowledgeable <laughs> of this area <laughs> at all I didn't know where I was uh, and it was so I would talk to the theater teacher and I didn't know the, the terms um, I I was clueless, so I, I think oh. sometimes I kind of annoyed her because <laughs> my questions probably were so basic. But then, um, so I didn't want her, when I started seeing her getting more and more serious, I was like, well, I don't want her to not have a childhood. Mm -hmm. So I kind of, I support her and everything she would ask me to do, I would, you know, enroll her. I would even uh, suggest things. I just don't want her to, to be overwhelmed with this because I want her to still be a child. But whenever she would find a difficulty, I would support her by looking for someone who knew what they were doing because I didn't know what I was doing. Uh -huh. And she was very, uh, she was very concerned about getting, you know, a good role and getting, becoming better. Yes. The first time she went into, uh, into an audition the, for Cinderella, she came out and told me, mom, everybody's better than me there. <laughs> Everybody was better than me. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and I was like, well, that, that's okay. Because uh, I've seen many kids that think that theater is going into an audition and being one of the leads. And that's not it. It's You get a lot of uh, ensemble roles. And she wanted to get good roles. Well, so sure. she would work. Yeah. And she would get, you know, work really hard for her audition. So I started by enrolling her in classes that were not just like the place actually but like technic technique and technical classes and even there was a class for uh for tv right film yeah, film 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 and so she did like a year of film classes but she says she's mm -hmm. not she's not that passionate about that she wants theater mm -hmm. Uh, so yes. my when way you, of, when you say yeah. film, do you mean like television or uh, movies or yeah. all of it? You rather have theater um, or like like the live theater? Like television, yes. I rather like theater than like television and movies. I feel like just doing the scene over and over again can get a bit. Oh, okay. You know, yeah. Now, how yeah. has the virus affected how you, you know, the kind of roles that you're going to get? I mean, there's not an audience right now. So is that, mm -hmm. does that sway you maybe going more towards television or no audience? Well, um, not that much since, since I'm not doing musicals or anything, I get more time to practice everything and practice my lines for the play that I'm actually doing right now. Um, oh. Nice. Um, we have a question from the audience. This is Karen. Mm -hmm. Karen says, are there tips that your acting teachers tell you to do daily or monthly to keep you up on being ready for your next big role? Thank you for that um, question, Karen. All right. So let me think. So to keep you ready for your next big role. Um, I think she's talking about the exercises yeah. maybe that you have to do. Uh, oh, okay. So exercises maybe to practice like <laughs> auditions maybe. I think I'm gonna, so. Yeah. All right. So maybe just, well, I've heard this tip that is um, just kind of go in and kind of be yourself a bit. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that I've been told. Um, Mom, can you think of anything that I've been to? Well, I've told I know you? every time you see your acting teacher, she gives you exercises for every single class where you have to warm up and you have to practice lines and you have to practice monologues and work oh, on becoming yes, the character definitely. you're working on. So uh -huh. that transformation that, you know, she talks about, those are, you mm -hmm. know, important tips, but it's practice. It's definitely. just practice, practice, practice. It, mm -hmm. monologues are very important she's not crazy about yes. them but it's it's part of it. it because you have to memorize a lot you have to memorize a monologue and then analyze a character mm -hmm. and become that character right oh yeah yes i'm interested you, how yeah. um, julia got involved with you how did you find her and how has she helped you 
both of you. I'd like oh my to know. God, Julia has been a blessing. Um, you want to say Julia, it or do you want me watching? to say it? Um, <laughs> hi, hi, Julia. Bella, do you want to say it or do you want me hi. to tell them? Here. Um, well, first you say how we got to Julia, um, I'd say. Okay, so when she yeah. was in one of her musicals, um, mm -hmm. she started, uh, she, well, one summer it was all theater. The whole two months, it was like theater classes all the time. It was either technique, aud audition, uh, singing, dancing, and, and acting classes, but it was the whole summer. By the end of the summer, mm -hmm. she started, she had a lead, and she started <laughs> complaining that when she would sing and go to higher notes, it would start hurting her. So I, I contacted her acting teacher, her theater teacher, and she told me that she was not using the right techniques and that she needed a vocal coach. Oh. So I started searching for a vocal coach and I, I found somebody it was, they were not a good fit. So it was really hard because I didn't know what to tell her and I didn't know how to help her at all. I had no clue. So we, one, one of my friends, her son is in Broadway and I didn't know because she's like a work friend. So I had no idea she had anything to do with this. <laughs> and she told me, uh, well, uh, my, my son's in Broadway, I've been there. So she gave me Julia's number and that's how we got to Julia. And Julia gave her the best technique. She has never heard herself again. And and also she has grown so much vocally. Uh -huh. oh, yes, bet. my range is expanding a lot. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm so happy to hear that. So uh, the first time I got to listen to Julia sing was at Unity Church of Houston, and I literally cried. I I, I admit it. She just sings like an angel, and I'm looking forward to hearing you sing. So for those of you who are out there watching us either on YouTube or Facebook or if you're on a podcast listening to us, you're in for a real treat because we have it on good authority that Isabella is going to sing for us later. <laughs> and I'm We're really excited to hear that. So stay tuned. All right. Yeah. Now, it, all the different things that we're talking about, if you want to get a hold of them, if you want to make a comment down below in the description, there's a way for you to talk. You can ask us questions right now because we're live in YouTube or Facebook. All you have to do is put put a comment in and we'd be happy to answer your questions. Yeah. Now, Lady Lou, I know you have another question in there. Yeah, I, I want to ask uh, Isabella, how have your friends reacted to your oh. singing career and your acting? Good one. Well, they say that I'm going to be on Broadway someday oh. a lot. They say that I'm going to like yes. be doing a lot of things and I they're really supporting me. They support so. you. I think that's beautiful. And who do we have here? Sophia. Sophia. Oh, that's my cousin. Okay. Yay. She says, Isabella is amazing here from Florida. Oh, and uh, Sharifa, this is awesome. You just light up Isabella. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's one of my friends. I was trying to check if it was her. You've got all oh, your friends. China. Oh, China. Oh, my gosh. Now, this is beautiful because your friends are really supporting you and your relatives, your father and everybody. I love that because if we don't give our children support, how are they going to grow? And I applaud you, Annette, and your husband, and all of your relatives, because this has given oh, Isabella you. a boost and, and confidence in herself that she might not otherwise have gotten. So that is perfect. We're you behind know? you 100%. We are so excited for you. You know, you have, a, you have a big fan club, and what I mean by that, it's not just, you know, weirdos out there that are looking at you. These are real people that care about you and that we want you to succeed. And so you just keep doing what you do best, which yes. is what acting and singing and, and putting yourself out there with what lights you up. You know, so many of us, um, we take jobs or we get stuck in situations where it's not really what we want to do. And uh, we're not good at making the excuses that you did at Isabella. We're, we just do it. We just get up and do it because somebody told us to. 
I'm proud of you for just keep going to figure out what your passion is and going for it. I'm uh, I'm Thank jealous you know and I'm jealous because it took me so I was a late bloomer. It took me so many years to find my passion <laughs> and I'm still finding it at 75. And I, I like that. I'll never quit growing. And that's what you're doing, Isabella. You're growing and expanding and getting more and more confident. And it's it'll show in everything you do now because of this confidence. So congratulations to you and to your mama and dad. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, here we got another, another that's, Ella. Oh, that's uh, another Aaliyah. one of my friends, Aaliyah. <gasps> Just keep on going and soon you'll achieve your main goal. Well, that brings me to my next uh, question. What exactly. is your main goal? Well, I don't exactly have one. It's I would say it's just getting young. on Broadway and doing what yeah. I love to do, which is yeah. singing, acting, dancing. Yeah, just keeping moving forward. That's it. And Annette, what do you um, foresee as the future for Isabella? Do you see, um, you know, this taking off really fast, too fast, just right? Do you need to slow it down, speed it up? How how, how are you seeing this in your head, you and your husband? I'm trying to go at her pace. So I see her getting more and more serious, which I was not expecting, um, <laughs> especially since she started seeing Julia because she started getting better and better. Uh -huh. And so I, I see her getting more serious, but I'm gonna let her decide. And if, she, if in five years she decides this is not what she wants to do, I'll support her a hundred percent. I just want her to follow her own passion. Oh and my God. So, Peggy Whatever Moore. she decides. My speakers are Peggy up loud. Moore. Let's hear that beautiful voice. Yeah. <laughs> and there's Peggy. What did Peggy yeah. say? She said her speakers are up loud. Let's hear oh, that beautiful good. voice. Oh, good. ready to listen. Well, shall we go ahead? Because we, we'll come back after you sing. How's that, how's that Isabella? You want to go ahead and sing now? Mm -hmm. Let me just grab my music. All right. Yeah. Take her just a second. And she needs to stand up so she can get the air in her lungs. And we're excited. What are we going yeah. to do? Right, I'm just going to say real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. Do you know what she's going to sing today, Annette? Yes. Uh, she's going to start. So she's going to sing two songs. One, They're both uh, short. One of them is a classical piece, and it's opera. Uh, it's an opera piece and it's in Italian. Ah. It's called uh, Nel Corpio Non Mi Sento. Nice. Which means my heart has lost its feeling. And it's kind of like about suffering for love, but it's it's an Italian piece. And then the other one, she's putting the music. I'm so sorry about that. That's okay. <laughs> and the other one is oh a little piece of Circle of Life. From Disney, oh. from the Lion King. Oh, I love she, that. She, she was going to be in Lion King tonight. Oh, the presentation, the opening night was tonight, but um, it was obviously rescheduled yeah. for November. Oh so well, she. Right. Yes, and so she was uh, ready to to perform that she knew all her lines even before the the first rehearsal. <laughs> she knew all her lines. Um, and she was really excited about that play. So hopefully we'll be able to see her in November. Uh, wow. well, that one. So have to come back and let us know when that is so we can all go and support her. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. So, I got the music. All right. We're ready for you. Uh, wrong one. All right. Wrong one. There she's going to give you the full screen. All right. Perfect. Just tell me if you can't hear it so that I can play it louder. Oh. Perfect. All right. Say 
कोल gave me goosebumps just goosebumps all over all right now for number two all right so that'll be circle of life yes all right all right On the day we arrive on the planet and blinking, step into the sun, there's more to see than can ever be seen, more to do than can ever be done. There is far too much to take in here. More to find than can ever be found. But the sun rolling high through the sapphire sky keeps great and small on the endless round. It's a circle of life and it moves us all through despair and hope. They then last till we find a place on the path unwinding. It's a circle, the circle of life. Wow. Thank you, Isabella. That was beautiful. Oh, wasn't that lovely? Oh, gosh. You are quite a talent. I am so happy you found your gift and are willing to share it. Oh, yes, so happy to be you. here. Wow. Well, we're so happy that you were here, too. And thank you, Isabella, for putting all this together, because I know you two have worked very hard on this and it paid off. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. And you have sung very well. Oh, makes me want to come and watch you at your your next play oh, in yes, November. Yes, yes. We need to know when that is so we can come and support you for sure. Don't you forget about us now when you're you know, a big star. <laughs> we knew you I I'll oh. definitely send you the invitations. If oh, everything definitely. goes well, she's enrolled for to be in Moana in June, in July, sorry. Mm -hmm. But oh. we don't know how July is going to look like. Yeah. And uh, Lion King was rescheduled for November. So, Wonderful. and she is young Simba in Lion King. Oh. Oh. See there, yeah. that's a starring role, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's, she worked so really hard for it. a god edition. Mm -hmm. I have one yeah. final question for you, Isabella. Mm -hmm. When you sing like you did just now, and you give it your all, do you get more pumped up, or are you, are you drained? Like, oh my god, now I need to take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> well, I get really excited, especially when I'm able to do things that I didn't know I could do, like hit a belty note, which is. Um, a high note that is not in your head voice, if you know what I mean. It's chest voice. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And see, I somehow I knew that because um, Lady Lou and I've had that discussion before. You know, like if you do something really great, 
you know, sometimes the next day you feel tired, you don't want to do it. And I was like, if you send me to like an expo or something like that, where there's a lot of people, that's where I get really pumped up. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm on top of the world. So I totally get that. That's because that's your passion, Isabella. That's why you feel even more excited. Um, we had uh, one question and then we'll have to go. This is from Peggy. She wants to know where is the Lion King going to be playing in November? Um, well, in November, it's going to be in the Showtime Theater. Um, it's where in, is it um, in Katy, Texas. It's in 99, close to Kingsland. There's a church. Uh, if, you, if you look for Showtime Theater online, uh, it's a community theater here in Katy. You'll find it. It's Showtime Theater. Damn and uh, they'll have it. It's close yeah. to 99 and Kingsland Boulevard. Oh, okay. I know where that is. Yeah. Excellent. Great. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Isabella, how about if we have you back on before your show starts and give you a little more publicity? Would you like to do that? Yes, of course. Can you, wear your, <laughs> Can you wear your costume or will they let you take it home with you? Um, well, I don't I, think so. I don't know if I'll be able to wear it, but if uh, I am, then I will. Okay. Well, you, you can tell them you have a debut on the live stream video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> there were you ladies at, for coming. Maybe we could do it at the theater. You'll have your iPad with you, right? We sure enjoy um, having you. Yes, I do. Behind the scenes. I love being here. Yes, I'll see if I can maybe take a picture or something. I mean, the oh, costume. And we could love that too. Oh my yes. gosh, this has been so fun. Thank you both for being here. And we thank all of your supporters, your fans who uh, chat chatted in live, and Peggy and Karen. We appreciate everyone, and our audience is so special to us too. So thank you again, Isabella, for the beautiful music and for your beautiful wonderful. career. You just, you're going places. And thank you, Annette, because you have in, encouraged her and given her the confidence to soar. And that's beautiful. Bye, so we thank you. you so much. Thank Bye. you for, thank you for having us. Bye. Thank you for having us. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.